This is part 20 of Angular CLI tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss generating routing module using the Angular CLI. This is continuation to part 19, so please watch part 19 before proceeding. To make Angular CLI generate a routing module, all we have to do is use this dash dash routing option when generating a new Angular project. Let's look at this in action. To generate a new Angular project, we use this command ng new. Let's name our project routing demo. Along with generating this new Angular project, we also want the Angular CLI to generate a separate routing module. So we are using this dash dash routing option. There we go. The project is successfully generated. Let's change into the project directory. We named our project routing demo. And then let's open our project using Visual Studio Code. The project source code is in the source folder. We have the root module file right here, app.module.ts. In addition to this root module file, we have another module file right here, app-routing.module.ts. This is the routing module generated by Angular CLI. Notice it has included the required import statement to import routes and router module from the Angular router library and it also has created the routes constant for us. It left the routes blank because Angular CLI does not know what routes we want for our application. It's for us to do that. We have to configure our routes and tie those routes to the application menu. Apart from these two steps, Angular CLI has done pretty much everything else for us. And notice here within the import array, it has included the router module and it is also passing this routes constant to the for root method of the router module and it is re-exporting the router module so any other module that is importing this app routing module has the router module features available to it. It not only generated this app routing module for us, it also has included the required import statement within our root module app module to import that routing module. And notice here it has made that app routing module part of the import array. So as far as routing is concerned, Angular CLI has done pretty much everything it can except configuring routes and tying those routes to the application menu. In our previous video, we discussed the steps to manually implement routing in a separate module. If you have not watched that video, I would strongly encourage you to do so before proceeding with this video. I'll include the link for that video in the description of this video. Now let's review all those steps and see which of them Angular CLI has implemented for us and which of them it has left for us to manually implement. Step 1. Set the base href element in index.html. This is done for us out of the box by the Angular CLI. So if we look at our routing demo project within index.html, we have the base href element already set. Step 2. Create a separate routing module file. This is again done by the Angular CLI for us automatically out of the box. So here is that separate routing module file. Angular CLI named it app-routing.module.ts. Here is the name of our class, app routing module. Step 3. Import the Angular router module in the app routing module. Again, this is implemented by the Angular CLI for us. So if we look at our app routing module, notice it has included the required import statement to import the router module and it also has made it part of the import array. Step 4. Configure the application routes. This is something that Angular CLI is not able to implement for us because Angular CLI does not know what routes we want within our application. Before we can configure our routes, we need to create these three components, home component, employee component, and page not found component. So let's go ahead and create these three components. So let's switch to the command prompt, and then let's use this command to generate the component. ng for Angular CLI itself, g for generate, c for component, and the name of the component that we want to generate is home. There we go. The home component is generated. Now let's generate employees component. Finally, let's generate page not found component.
there we go all the required components are created now let's configure routes for our application to speed things up I'm going to copy the routes from the project that we worked with in our previous video here is that project employee management and we have the routes configured in the app routing module in that project so I'm just going to copy this routes array and then let's paste them within our routing demo project which is right here so within our routing demo project we already have this routes constant created by the angular CLI so let's paste our copied routes right here so all we have to do is configure routes and within the routes notice we are referencing the home employees and page not found components so we need to include the required import statements as well so let's copy them from our employee management project here are the required import statements and then paste them within our routing demo project step 5 import the application routing module app routing module in the root module app module this step is already implemented for us by the angular CLI so if we look at the root module app module notice it already has the required import statement to import app routing module and it also has made it part of the import array step 6 specify where you want the router components view templates to be displayed using the router outlet directive this step is also implemented for us by the angular CLI so if we look at our root component app component notice within the app component HTML file we already have the router outlet directive this is where the routed components view templates will be displayed step 7 create a navigation menu and tie the configured routes with the menu using the router link directive this is something angular CLI is not able to implement for us we'll have to implement ourselves so to speed things up I'm going to copy the menu HTML from the project that we worked with in our previous video so within that employee management project within the root component template file we have the required HTML so I'm going to copy this HTML and paste it within the root component within our routing demo project so I'm going to replace all this HTML including the router outlet directive with this HTML so here we are using the bootstrap nav component to create the navigation menu so obviously to style this navigation menu we will have to install bootstrap so let's fire up integrated terminal within Visual Studio Code and then execute this command npm install bootstrap dash dash save there we go bootstrap is successfully installed now we need to reference bootstrap CSS file within the angular CLI configuration file the angular CLI configuration file is right here angular dash CLI dot JSON so within this file we have this styles property so we need to reference the bootstrap CSS file right here so let's save all these changes and then build and run our angular project there we go we have the navigation menu and routing is working as expected so out of these seven steps we manually have to implement just two steps step 4 and step 7 configure the application routes and tie those routes to a navigation menu pretty much everything else is done for us by the angular CLI just imagine the amount of code it's generating for us and the time it is saving so angular CLI is indeed a very valuable tool I personally think every angular developer should know how to use it so they can be as productive as possible thank you for listening and have a great day